Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to a bit of a special Dr. Cassette video. You may remember the Zomacamp model FT250 SSB transceiver I found at the dump a while ago. Well, today we are going to try to turn this on. I have already had a look at the power supply right there and uh, voltages are quite a bit too high that's uh, all because uh, the line voltage here in Germany is no longer 220 volts we now well, in our area we usually get a 238 volts so that's quite a bit too much as you can see I have the, the main part the transceiver opened up you can see a ton of tubes inside of here um, tubes are all American or Japanese types um, and uh, they were made by Toshiba some of them and uh, some of them were made by Matsushita uh, I don't know if they're all original um, give you a close up of the whole thing Lots of stuff in here. A variable capacitor sitting in that box thing. More tubes, more variable capacitor. Now look at this section. This had this um, piece of metal on top of it, like this actually says danger high voltage on there and uh, that is true the highest voltage the power supply puts out is uh, is like 400 volts you can see uh, you get this variable capacitor inside of there and then you get these two giant tubes I mean these are really huge really huge things but, uh, well, enough of talking. Let's uh, try to turn it on. I have the power supply connected with this cable, connected to the unit itself. We have a speaker built into the power supply. It's sitting behind that grill. So, we are pretty much ready to go. So, I want to get this all on camera. I mean, if something blows up, that uh, is going to be a good video as well. <laughs> um, this is actually, this is a protected, or somewhat, it has a fuse inside of there, so it is a protected outlet. This um, power thing. So, it's connected. Now let's see... Where is the power switch? Uh, ah, well, there it says power off, so uh, function. Well, let's try what it's going to do on SSB. Okay, uh, let's turn the switch. Whew. I don't know if you heard that bang noise in the power supply. I guess this whole assembly, this whole unit, takes up a lot of current. Let's see. Well, something's coming out of the speaker. Correctly noises. Oh, come on. Uh, somewhat stupid, I can't find a volume control. But, uh, I can see tubes warming up. That one there. And uh, nothing is burning or smoking so far. These tubes are warming up as well. Maybe they are already warmed up. Once down there don't seem to do anything. The indicator there 
Well, it shows maximum. That can't be right. And, uh, okay. Safe to touch it, so... I don't have an antenna hooked up. Okay. Side band normal and reverse does do something. Band. Oh. Okay, it is it it seems to receive something. I guess it won't receive anything without antenna. Uh, microphone gain, we don't have a microphone. Okay, that's the grid voltage, I guess. Oh. There's another selector. Or something. Clarifier. Uh, I guess I I don't want to touch that. That's with the high voltage. Let's try this. And oh, no, that's calibrate. I think. It says operate and receive. We want to now put it to tune. I want these tubes to come on. Oops. Had a closer look at those tubes. Those were made by Toshiba as well. But uh, I don't seem to uh, be able to get them to do something. Also had a microphone hooked up right there, but uh, that made no difference. So, there you have it. The Zomacomp model FT250 SSB transceiver. Now, this is probably the last time you're going to see this thing, because uh, I am going to sell it. As, uh, well, for this uh, set, I could get quite a load of money, and uh, I really prefer having the money over having these things just standing around. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, see you again soon.